Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiterter, Consultant Audiologist and Director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in this latest demonstration video of our recently developed Waxscope. And I have a really interesting case here. It's of a patient who, who reported severe otalgia and left-sided facial pain. And they booked in uh, to have their ears examined. And they've got a very narrow... Uh, Canal. I'm just using the 4.25 millimeter specular here. We have got a smaller one, a 3.5 as well. But I just wanted to dilate this ear a bit more. And you can see uh, the patient's ear is completely full of dead skin, dead keratin. It's not really earwax. And if you continue to watch, um, kind of halfway down the ear canal, so the inferior aspect of a, the mid portion of your ear canal, there's a, a residual layer of dead epithelial layer of skin there and um, I decided to remove that because I wanted to know what was underneath that. Sometimes when you get these um, layers of skin at the base of the ear canal or even on the anterior posterior canal wall but more so on the inferior canal wall underneath that layer of skin it, there's, um, a, a, so there's a potential at least for there to be a canal cleshiotoma and in this particular case you'll see yourself um, it was well hidden by this layer of skin and there's a widening and an erosion of the, the bony part of the ear canal and potential canal cleshiotoma and there was some hardened keratin there that I attempted to remove and there was some granulation tissue so I have referred the patient uh, onwards for an ENT opinion. Uh, similar experiences in the past it normally uh, first of all applies some uh, Benavrate cream I think it is and to do a subsequent follow-up and more often than not a CT scan may be ordered just to just just to uh, rule out any underlying uh, pathology like a canal cleshiotoma and you'll, you'll see it all in a moment it's quite a difficult uh, layer of skin to remove and you've because the patient's ear canal as well it's quite narrow but we did manage to do it I uh, used a fine end suction probe so I've more or less cleared the canal wall. Um, you can see there's a bit of keratin a bit deeper. I'm going to just change the focus so you can see the, the, the patient's tympanic membrane there, so that's intact. They have been using a bit of drop, so there's a bit of a wrinkly effect on the, the, the more, more lateral layer of the, the eardrum. So there's some more medial dead skin here, so we just suction that. And it's this portion here, so this is kind of like mid-canal. It's more or less at the juncture of the... Uh, the osseocartilineous juncture and at, at present it doesn't look anything to be too concerned by and I'm just trying to gently peel the skin but you'll see in a moment um, with the speck I'm going to really dilate the, the entrance of this ear so we get a really good view you can see how I've dilated that and we're getting a bit of reflection there we did right at the beginning as well so when you remove keratin skin it's a very reflective um, surface, so you can see it's very simply, we just adjusted the, the brightness there, the exposure. And I'm going to slowly just peel away all this, almost blankets of epithelial skin. It's quite a thick spongy layer. So I always think it's, wherever possible, it's for, well, we should be trying to remove this kind of debris, especially um, if it's more more lateral, if it's a bit more medial, I can understand it can be a bit tricky sometimes, but it's it, we just don't know what's lurking underneath this. And as I said, in the worst case scenario, although canal cholesterol is extremely rare, it would probably have gone undiagnosed if, if the patient has got one. Again, I'm just really dilating the ear. And because you will see the exposed bone, that's that's what that's what's happened here. So now it could just be this patient's anatomy is like this. They're born with a, a dip in the ear canal, a little trench. And when you've got a dip like that, what can occur? Skin that migrates out of the ear gets trapped inside the pit, inside this little recess. And it can no longer fully migrate. Then you get a natural collection of keratin in the ear and dead skin. You can see some granulation tissue there that I'm just removing. 
uh, it just came away with the suction. Um, so yeah, when you've got an anatom anatomical defect like this, skin can gather, dead skin, keratin can gather, and it can form into a plug and it can get infected and it can start eroding, chewing, literally chewing away the skin and the flesh and chewing up the bone. So it can be very dangerous. Um, so it could be uh, due to the, the fact that the patient's an anatomy is just like this, or it may have been acquired over uh, many years because of chronic uh, failure of the skin to naturally fully migrate or chronic ear infections. So again, this pit's not yet fully visible, but um, there's still a bit of keratin skin here. And you can start to see some of the um, canal wall and here you'll see some exposed bone. So where I am now with the sucker, that's the, the, that should be the floor of the ear canal. And where I am now with the sucker lower down, this is the pit. This is the pit that really shouldn't be there. And the skin is really stubborn. It can be quite sensitive to remove. You can see the, begin to start seeing some of the exposed bone there. Uh, but the patient is really still, which is, which is great. Um, she, she wanted me to continue because this is the room as much as we can. But yeah, the skin is really tightly adhered, so it can be tricky to manoeuvre and peel away. I wanted to avoid the use of any drops just in case uh, I'm not still sure what's underneath all this. Uh, but sodium bicarb would probably be the best type of drops to use. Now, this pit's taking its, you can see its true size and form now. Again, just really dilating the ear open. Just adjusting the focus. There was some embedded keratin, which is, it was, it was like stone, it was rock solid. I think this is the bit which I wasn't fully able to remove. And if I had the audio on, you would have possibly even heard the ping there. It's just really rock solid that. So that wasn't, I wasn't able to remove that today, but all the softer peel away skin and keratin I was. So I'm more at the level of the base of the, what the ear canal should be like over here. This is, this skin is um, just beyond. You can see it's almost like a cliff edge here. And this skin is on what should be the floor of the entire ear canal. And just below that, you can see how it dips. And it's probably the best way to describe it. It's, it is like a, a cliff edge. You can see some granulation tissue there forming. So granulation tissue is in response to, to trauma and during the healing process, we get a buildup of uh, connective tissue. And that connective tissue then has its own blood supply, its own blood vessels. And you almost have like a, a rough uh, surface with granulation tissue. It's red normally and bumpy. So I'm just trying to remove some of this dead skin that's not in the pit. This is actually on the floor of their, of their what I assume is their normal ear, the out, the, the already um, ear canal bef before any trauma and erosion is taking place because it's just above the pit. So this is part of their normal ear canal. It's not been eroded here. It doesn't look like anyway. Again, it's really tough layer of skin. So I'll just talk about the wax coat. So the wax coat should be available in the next two, maybe three months. Um, we're just ensuring it, uh, it's a lot of quality control and we're having the specular, our, our own specular. We've you know, applied for a UK patent, so we're just finishing off all the tooling for it so we can inject with moldies. We're going to have four different sizes, a 3.5 mil, a 4.25, which is what I'm using at the moment, a 5 mil and a 5.75. And you can, this is probably where the wax goat's uh, more user-friendly than an endoscope because... Uh, although the view of the endoscope, in my opinion at least, is unrivaled. So our uh, flagship product, the iClearscope endoscope, the view you ascertain from the endoscope, it's just stunning. Um, it's uncomparable. You can see there again, I was just trying to remove that hardened keratin. It's rock solid though. 
Um, but, and then it's, it does require a bit more skill to use because you have to dilate the ear and straighten the ear using the endoscope as opposed to the wax scope where you've got the speculum doing that for you. So it's definitely more user friendly. And I would say uh, the view that I've man we've managed to replicate with um, the wax scope is very, I feel it's very impressive. Obviously, you, everyone have their own opinion. Uh, that's why we're uploading the video so you can see for yourself. You can see that exposed bone there, some granulation tissue. So we're just increasing the brightness now because all the skin's removed. And this is just some dead skin on the anterior canal wall. I think it was getting a bit of clarinetting, so I did stop shortly, I think. And we're going to have, a, I think, a good final view. So that's of the, the erosion of the, the mid canal. I'm just getting it in focus. And I think we're also going to have a look at a final view of the eardrum. And once more, I'm just going to adjust the focus there. So we've instructed the patient to keep their ears dry. We don't want any water getting in there because that will just possibly exacerbate... Um, infection and it can help induce infection so this is their right ear so it wasn't fully occluded but again this is just dead skin dead keratin you can fully see the texture of the skin you get these kind of almost ribbon effect spirally effect and they got it once more they've got a very narrow ear but i'm just persevering with a 4.25 so again we have got a smaller speculum but um the, the cartilage was here was it wasn't as it, it's was a bit elastic so although it was a a narrow ear canal we could we're still able to stretch and dilate it using our 4.25 millimeter specular so again you can see i'm just going to stretch this back to the right it's just some skin here i was going to peel that away so i can get a good view of the eardrum but i've removed the, the including dead skin and wax so i'm just trying to peel this away slowly but surely and it's more just to get a view of the eardrum. I'm not overly concerned about that residual skin. So just adjust the focus. You can see the eardrum there. Extremely clear. And in a moment, you're going to have your... That's all that dead skin removed from the patient's left ear. You can just see the, it's the, the consistency and the, the colour, the texture, the, the difference between skin and earwax. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you are interested in the wax coat, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you. Bye.